Hello! This is a 10-item multiple choice test presentation about curriculum development reforms and enhancements. For the instructions, we have to choose the letter of the best answer from the choices provided. Let's begin with question number one. What is defined by clearly focusing and organizing everything in the educational system around the essential for all students to do successfully at the end of their learning experiences? Letter A, outcome-based education, B, inclusion, C, curriculum development, and D, learning outcomes. The correct answer is letter A, outcome-based education. Because it refers to the definition given by the educational psychologist William Spady, it clearly points to the desired results of education, which is the learning outcomes. Next, question number two. John is an incoming senior high school student. At first, he was confused whether he'll pursue medical field or sports. But in the end, he chose sports track. He likes to socialize, help others in need, he is gentle, and at the same time, physically fit. Which of the following specialized courses for sports track will John excel? Letter A, fitness leadership. B, fitness testing and exercise prescription. C, safety and first aid. And letter D, understanding human movement the correct answer is letter c safety and first aid the clues confused whether to take medical field he likes to socialize help others in need gentle and physically fit directs to the characteristics of the person that is enthusiastic to learn safety and first aid let's proceed to question number three in the four essential principles in OBE, what principle states that in order to achieve this, teachers and students should have a clearer picture in mind of what knowledge, skills, and values must be achieved at the end of the teaching learning process? Letter A, expanded opportunities. B, high expectations. C, designing backwards. And D, clarity of focus. The correct answer is D. Clarity of focus. It is the primary principle in OBE that indicates a clear focus and what the teachers want students to learn. Question number four. In teaching learning OBE, some tips are mentioned, which is not included. Letter A. Teachers using variety of teaching methods is not necessary. B. Teachers must create a positive learning environment. C. Teachers knowing what they want the students to learn and what learning outcomes is important. And D. Teachers must help students to bring each learning to a personal closure that will make them aware of what they learn. The correct answer is letter A. Teachers using variety of teaching methods is not necessary. Teachers must use a variety of teaching methods that is appropriate to the learning goals and students need. Now, let's proceed to question number five. There are three statements Pady premised in outcome-based education. Which of the following is incorrect? Letter A, successful learning promotes even more successful learning. B, all students can learn and succeed at the same time on the same way. C, schools and teachers control the conditions that will determine if the students are successful in school learning. And letter D, all students can learn and succeed, but not at the same time or the same way. The correct answer for this is letter B, all students can learn and succeed at the same time and on the same way. It is because all students have the capacity to learn, but not all of them have the same level of capacity. Some are not yet capable enough, that's why they don't succeed at the same time. Each one of us has different pace of learning. For questions 6 to 8, refer to the following choices. Letter A, designing backwards. B, clarity of focus. C, high expectations. And D, expanded outcomes. Now, question number 6. Teacher Sandy assigned tasks in different groups to portray urban and rural life. She cleared out their rubrics and criteria as well as other ideas that could help the students by providing sample videos of different performances. 
She expects the students to do their best in their performance. What OBE essential principle is applied in this scenario? Letter A, designing backwards. B, clarity of focus. C, high expectations. And D, expanded outcomes. The correct answer is high expectations. Teacher Sandy set high expectations regarding students' performance by challenging them with a given criteria and rubrics, as well as other ideas with sample videos. For question number seven, we have Teacher Daniel gave the students a task, which is to do an activity about astronomy. The students are given a chance to choose how they would present their output and incorporate it to the lesson. What OB essential principle is applied to this scenario? Letter A, designing backwards. B, clarity of focus. C, high expectations. Or D, expanded opportunities. The correct answer is letter D, expanded opportunities. In OBE, all students are expected to excel, but students have a different intelligences. Letting the students choose their own style in creating their output encourages them to show their best and use their expertise. Next question, question number 8. Every day, teacher Zaria creates a lesson plan on the subjects she'll teach the day after. Also, before she starts with her class, she gives clear objectives to the students. Their goal is to accomplish the set objectives. What OBE essential principle is applied in this scenario? Letter A, designing backwards. B, clarity of focus. C, high expectations. And D, expanded outcomes. The correct answer is D, clarity of focus. It is because the teacher gave the students objectives containing the knowledge, values, and skills that they need to achieve. The teacher also plans out what is needed to be done. Let's proceed to question number 9. Which of the following key points reflects a shift from a traditional to an OBE view? 1. Outputs to resource learning outcomes. 2. Instruction to learning. 3. Teacher dispenses knowledge to teachers are designers of methods. 4. Teachers and students are independent and in isolation to teacher and students work in teams. For letter A, 1 and 2. B, 3 only. C, 3 and 4. D, 1, 2, 3 and 4. The best choice for this item would be letter D, 1, 2, 3 and 4. All key points shows the shifting of teaching learning system from traditional to OBE view. And for the last item, question number 10. Which of the following principles of OBE assessment reflects being unbiased and sensitive? Letter A, assessment individually or uniqueness is not given importance to be demonstrated. B, assessment is not necessary to tell both the teachers and students how students are progressing. C. Assessment procedure should be fair. Cultural background and other factors should not influence assessment procedure. And letter D. Assessment should support some student opportunity to learn new things. The correct answer is letter C. Assessment procedure should be fair. Cultural background and other factors should not influence assessment procedure. It is because assessments that are fair is unbiased and sensitive. It values and considers the different aspects of student skills and characteristics. That's it! Thank you so much for answering with us. This presentation is created by Zarin Joy Becca, Von Clyde Franco, Adi Tatahar, and Charity Marita Godar of BSNAD TVHLVA.